this is Jamie with CapsuleComputers.com, and today we have a Incipio kick, slim kickstand here for the iPad, for the iPad 2, iPad 3, and iPad 4 here to review. So let's get this unboxed for you. Alright, so this is a very slim, very slim hard shell case. I believe this would be vegan leather like most of Incipio's offerings. I don't think I've actually seen a uh, animal hide leather on their case. It's it's a partial hard shell. Let's just remember that here. This back portion is plastic hard shell and the front would be a vegan leather and by the looks of it, this is one of the type of kickstand cases that just that don't bend anywhere. They just, with the uh, stickiness of the, I guess not the stickiness, but the uh, grippiness of the back shell here, and it just kind of rests like that. Anyways, now just get us. Let's get this thing installed. So it just snaps right in, nice and easy, very quick. No muss, no fuss. So far, it's uh, not as slim as I expected, but I like the elastic covering. It holds it in very nice. So let's skip towards the review. All right, and we're back. So I've, of course, as I always say, I've had some time to review this, which I really did, and um, can't say I've been a huge fan of this case for. For starters, it's kind of ironic considering they call this the slim kickstand, but actually this is one of the thickest iPad cases that I have uh, encountered so far. If I could get this to focus, this is actually it actually almost doubles the um, the thickness of the case. I mean, it doesn't add too much in heft. The materials are pretty light, but it is a pretty thick case. It's just the cover is very chunky. The leather, I f this vegan leather, it's a little pl on the plasticky side of feel. It's not. It's pretty obvious that it's not real leather. Uh, the other thing I notice is, unlike like animal leather, this is not scratch resistant at all. You can probably see uh, if I could get. Uh, I don't think you can see it on the camera. It won't focus enough here. Yeah, it won't focus enough, but. You can probably see it right here, at least this one's very clear. This one, this vegan leather material that they used in this specific case doesn't seem to take uh, scratches very well. I find just running my fingernail across it even was enough to mar, not not always visibly mar the finish, but you could, you could see, you could feel the scratches. And I mean, I wasn't putting that much force on it either. Uh, the one thing I did like, however, about this case is the fact that the coverage on the back here is very, very good. I mean, they even have the little bar here between the speaker to make sure that this part doesn't get scratched. And of course, this, or this one is going to fit any lightning connectors. So I really did like the back plate of this. The stitching, the stitch job on the front is very good. I, it's actually rather even and it's a very good sign of workmanship. The only negative part of the stitching job is you can see the elastic right here is stretching the stitches a little, but to be honest, with the abuse that I've put it through so far, it hasn't come apart, and I highly doubt it's going to come apart anytime soon. One thing that 
I really did not like about this case is, as you can see, there is no smart cover functionality. Considering practically every case at this pri at this $39.99 price point has the uh, has a smart cover functionality, it's a little strange that this didn't actually have one. The other thing I wasn't a huge fan of was the fact that there's two perfectly good, uh, I guess viewing angles however there is no actual typing angle i ended up having to prop this up on a book and type away the other thing i wasn't a huge fan of also was the fact that in the dark it's perfectly possible to close the case like this which is a little frustrating especially since this part kind of sticks out i didn't really i just seem it's a minor design flaw but it's an annoyance nonetheless other than that, I found the installation, as you saw earlier, was very easy, and if, as you can see, taking off this case isn't that hard either. You just need to put a little bit of force on the corner, and it pops right out. You're not going to wrestle with this too much when you decide to take off this case. So, overall, I give this a 7.5 out of 10. If you see this case on sale and you really need a case for your iPad, I recommend giving this the Incipio Slim M Folio a uh, look, but at the full price of $39.99, I can't say I recommend this case. There are a lot better cases even on Scipio's own line for, for, even less, for even less money that has things like the smart cover feature and whatnot. So if you want to find out more about this case, just scroll on down and check out my full written review at CapsuleComputers.com.